heard that your kids were really excited when you uh, joined onto this film and that their friends were really excited. Tell me a little bit about that experience. I, I've never been the cool dad in my kids' eyes. I've just been dad, uh, but now we're talking world-class cool because I'm in one of their favorite movie franchises. Um, they've had an opportunity to see some of the behind-the-scenes footage and the intercutting between their father voicing the character and the rendering of the character saying my, my words. And they're just, they're, they're blown away. They can't wait till the movie comes out. Um, and you know, they're, they're gonna have the opportunity to bring their friends. And uh, yeah, it's a whole new world in my household. I, I have now taken my, my rightful place as the head of the family, as the cool dad who leads the charge, yes. And I heard that you were getting a little bit mobbed at the playgrounds. You're like a superstar at the playgrounds now. Uh, not at the playgrounds, but uh, definitely there's an awareness out there that uh, that, that Coach Benjamin, because I coach my my kids' baseball team uh, along with some other dads. Um, yeah, the word is out, and so uh, yeah, it's going to be a, it'll be a, a fun-filled summer with lots of play dates. I think at our house. <laughs> Come to my house, yeah. Eduardo. Um, so let's talk about Eduardo. I saw the movie last night. Really fun. I thought Eduardo was so lovable and just open, and he sure loves to dance. He does. Can you tell me a little bit about Eduardo? Sort of set him up for me. That's what I loved about Eduardo is that he is a he is a man that is expansive in every way imaginable. Uh, he's got a larger than life personality. Very very Latin in the sense that he's. That he's exuberant, quick to hug and, and to laugh and, and of course to dance. Um, just has a real zest for life. He's a family man, he owns a restaurant. Um, so that was really fun for me to play. And what's interesting about the process is that, you know, I share qualities with, with Eduardo, not on that scale, of course, but I have a zest for life, I fancy. But, um, you know, whatever you're bringing to the recording session, and you think it's appropriate or enough, it ain't enough. What I discovered is that in the eyes of the director and the filmmakers is that more is more, not less is more. And that's usually been my, 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 my approach is less is more on camera. But in the recording session, bring everything you have and even when you think you've reached your limit, it's not gonna be enough, bring even more. So that was actually really um, freeing uh, from an actor's point of view to be able to uh, to go there, to be encouraged to go to a place you didn't think existed. And then, you know, of course, there's El Macho, who is a pretty hardcore um, villain. Tell me about the duality of playing those two characters. El Macho is such a bad dude that he was known and feared to be the most ruthless, dangerous villain alive some 20 years before the story uh, begins. And he would pull 